One of the best advice I got um, during this whole pandemic so far is that to never argue with stupid people. And that is essentially one of the secrets to happiness, or at least the secrets to minimizing uh, conflicts or drama with people that you know or come into contact with or who are your so-called friends. Now I'm going to get to that in a second, but uh, firstly, uh, just to kind of give you some updates uh, of what's been going on as of lately. Uh, you are watching some AO Tennis 2 gameplay in the background. This is part 4 of my match as Nick Kyrgios against Roger Federer. I took the first set in case uh, you were just joining and you missed the first few parts. And uh, he takes a, Federer takes a commanding lead in the second set so I do have to try to grind uh, to uh, try to get back into the, into the lead here which does take quite a bit of effort because it is where it is Federer we're talking about here so he's the goat but um you know after this match and then the next match that I have saved up for some gameplay I do bump the level up uh in terms of difficulty like right now uh uh the difficulty is set was set at semi pro which it was also was when it was when I was playing against the Dow, and it's also like that against the next match you will, which you will see and um, but the fourth match that you'll see is will be on the pro level because these were all recorded during a time when I was still trying to get used to the game and now I've gotten much better at it now so I'm playing at, as a, at a pro level now which is pretty awesome so uh, it, the matches will get more more tighter now, hopefully, and not so one-sided. So, yeah, you can uh, you can at least appreciate that in in the far future. Which, yeah, hopefully you'll you'll see those gameplays as they come by. So, yeah. Um, but as far as um, other things, uh, COVID. You know, I'm in Ontario, Canada, so. We are in our third, I believe it's our third lockdown. Um, it's not a stay-at-home order as it was the second time or the previous time. And uh, instead it's just, uh, you know, we're allowed to have people of up to five for outdoor oh. gatherings. But that's it. Nothing indoors is allowed. Um, you know, you can only order takeout food in... Uh, I think grocery stores are like half capacity and then retail stores are like 25% capacity so for it being the long weekend uh, a lot of people are at the mall which uh, I didn't go to the mall or anything in case you're wondering but like it was still like people just you know it's not very it's not uh, the most comforting thing when when you see a mall and there's still like a bunch of people walking through like there is a probably good chance of somebody catching COVID or something like that I don't know but anyways uh, also I do have a I do have a airsoft rifle setup video in the works right now so I do have that saved up and I will get around to it as far as like editing goes and uh, uploading it soon so hopefully that's something you can look forward to but that's uh, the reason why it's not coming out right now is just because I've been quite busy and I also wanted to do this video first because it was something that's been really weighing on my mind especially with this whole lockdown again I actually had some plans that I initially was really looking forward to during the Easter long weekend but because of the lockdown and because you know these these people uh, that I was making plans with they just backed out they didn't fall through on it which is really sad and you know it, it really sucks because I really haven't seen any of my friends or any new people 
uh, in person in months. And it's really getting on my nerves right now, if I'm being honest. And I really hope that changes soon. Like, my luck and everything. And as far as this whole COVID thing, this whole lockdown, I really hope things get better. I can find some better people to to talk with or meet up with, potentially. As long as the cases don't keep going up, that is. But we'll see. But yeah, anyways, guys. Sorry, a lot of updates that I have to bring to you guys because a lot's happened. But um, the the big advice I'm telling you guys, never argue with stupid people. Why I'm saying this? Because if somebody is so one-sided and thinks they're right and will not listen to your advice that or or opinion that you tell them, then there's no point arguing with them because no matter what you say, they always they will always think they are right. And therefore, you should listen to them. So at that point, you should just not bother talking to them. Especially if this is your friend. That um, If it's a toxic friend, which is actually why I'm talking about this. Because I've been dealing with some issues um, with a friend that just doesn't give a shit about COVID guidelines or restrictions. So... And this girl just, like, this friend just does not listen to the news at all. Doesn't give a shit about the new guidelines of what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. So, like, being a best friend, I try to just relay to her, like, what are the guidelines? Like, yo, just letting you know because they have these new guidelines. You can't go out uh, or you can't have people outside of your household to come in. Obviously, she, being who she is she's like i don't give a shit like she like just because there's guidelines doesn't mean we have to follow it i can do whatever i want literally she said that not not giving any regard to her family her safety or the risk of her getting fined 800 dollars. literally that's it and then on top of that like you know and then she just being really mean about it and rude about it it's just like at that point no point arguing with the stupid person, you know. If they're gonna be that ignorant and you know arrogant about who they are and who they think they are, then it's no point. Same thing goes with actually um, the same person, which actually really hurted me um, in terms of how much this meant to me. Um, it was actually World Autism Day. Um, on Friday, uh, uh, during the, the long weekend, the Good Friday and all that, and so, you know, because of that, uh, Good Doctor, if you know that show, they wanted us to share our stories of autism, things like that, and I actually have Asperger's, which is a mild form of autism, and I shared my, a, br a brief, a, a brief but vague story of my my story of how i struggled with asperger's growing up how it affected my social skills right and you know the people that knew me and and were my friends they supported me but then this person she decides to text me or message me saying you shouldn't post that that is that is personal you saying that is gonna make people not want to be your friend and to me i'm like i'm saying like if they don't if they're not gonna be my friend because of that, then they're not worth it to me. And then that's their problem. I don't give a shit. But the fact that she even said all of those things really, really hurted me. Because I expected her to, as a friend, that she would support me. But since this whole lockdown, all she's been caring about is herself and her boyfriend. She doesn't give a shit about anything else. Not even her friends. Even though she always claims that she cares about her friends or that she misses her friends. She doesn't put the effort in. So, and then I had to keep arguing with her about this whole autism thing and share about sharing my, my little story thing. Even though I wasn't getting too explicit about everything, she still went about and was arguing like, you shouldn't say, you shouldn't like talk about that. You're going to not have friends that way. You're not going to make friends or like, you don't even have any, you don't have any friends. And if you say this, you're, it's going to reduce your chance of making friends more. Like, that was bullshit. The fact that she even said that was 
was pathetic. Like, I'm really sorry, but and at this point, with all those things, I have to really discuss. I have to really decide for myself if I even want to be friends with her anymore, or at least for now, just distance myself from her. But that's what I really needed to get off my chest for you guys. You know, again, if you have a toxic friend who just won't listen to you and won't respect your opinion or or support you for what you are voicing out about and and being in a positive way then though that person doesn't deserve to be your friend or you don't you don't need someone like that in your life just don't argue with them cut them out of your life if you need to or at the very least distance yourself from them those are my thoughts guys hope you enjoyed the gameplay commentary and i hope to see you guys in the final part of this ao tennis to tennis match coming soon Peace out, guys.